Hey folks, Dan Furrow here with your market update for October 24th, 2024. So mortgage rates, they continue their rally. We were down almost a 5.99 about two weeks ago. We're almost 7% today. So will this rally stop? Well, we got some jobs information uh, today. So let's take it over to Rick Santelli at CNBC and let's get the um, employment numbers for today to see if this helps the market. So Rick, take it away, buddy. Rick Santelli standing by at the CME in Chicago with breaking economic data. Rick, the numbers, please. One eight hundred. Yeah, well, all you have to do is look at yields. Yields are jumping. And why are yields jumping? Because we expected initial claims to be lower. We have hurricane issues. We have Boeing strike. We have layoffs at Boeing. Washington State claims should go up, but they're going down. 227,000 on initial claim, 227,000. That's the lightest since the last week in September. And those last weeks in September were the lightest since May of last year. Excuse me, I'm sorry, May of this year. But continuing claims going the other way, 1,897,000, a whisker shy of 1.9 million. That's the highest level, of course, since November of 21. And it was in November of 21, the last time we were over 1.9 million. So continuing claims moving up a bit, but initial claims expected to be higher came in lower. That really is a surprise. I'm not sure what the GPS is on claims. You know, remember holidays, of course, and certain issues we always need to be aware of. But there's always something going on. The reason we have initial claims is for things like Boeing strikes. But of course, we always try to pull these things out and rebalance. But it is what it is. And interest rates today, well, there's some notable features. We've had five sessions in a row uh, up till yesterday where 10 year note yields and long dated treasury yields kept surpassing the previous day's high yield or under the previous day's low price. In order for that to occur for a sixth straight session, we need to get above 425 and a half. And it looks like it's a possibility, but the streak may be broken. And the only reason I mention it is really since that big job jobs report after the 50 basis point cut that the markets dissed completely, that we have seen that this type of technical momentum that really has kept many investors on the right side of what has been a very rapid rise in interest rates. We still have a lot of data points yet to come, but at this point, as I said, right around four and a quarter should be a very important psychological point for a variety of reasons. Joe, back to you. Holy shnikes. So at the front end, let's let's look at the data. And th this is really important because the Federal Reserve, I, I think they just throw the, in the towel on inflation. They're like, inflation is going to come down. So now we, we have to kind of halt or cool off uh, the, the job market, not cool it off, but we, we can't have a ton of people going to work, but we can't have a ton of people losing their jobs. So here's what the news looked like uh, from yesterday and today. I, oh, I didn't have the news when I did yesterday's report. So let's get through some of the basic news that we saw out yesterday, FOMC existing home sales. Uh, the reading previously was 3.86 uh, or 8.8 was back to say right there. It, it, it was right in line with that home sales. They were supposed to come in at negative 0.2. They came in at negative 0.1. Okay, here's this is shocking. This is shocking. 20 year bond auction took place. Okay, so here's a perfect example to show you guys how investors are, 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 are requiring higher yields. So the 20 year auction, the last time they had a 20 year auction of government bonds, they got a yield of 4%. Okay, this round yesterday, it, they, they had to get a four and a half percent. They had to pay four and a half percent on the rate for people to buy the bonds. So you could see the dramatic increase in rates that investors, they're saying there's too much debt out there. Uh, so we, we need higher rates. Uh, to compensate us for this risk. So that's what's happening. That's one of the pieces of the puzzle that's happening right now. And then today we had building permits. Uh, last reading was 1.47. It came in at 1.42, kind of in right in line with what was expected. Continued jobless claims. This is the area that's kind of uh, freaking out the market. Is it tougher to get a job now? Are, are hirings basically on halt? Because a lot of companies are probably saying, okay, we're coming in that holiday season. It's an election year. Sales are starting to you know, maybe get a little bit soft. You know, Maybe we don't need as many employees. So continued employees, uh, it keeps rising. It's almost 1.9 million people. That That's astonishing. Initial jobless claims came in a little bit light. They expected it to come in about right about where it was last time, 242 last time. They were expecting it to stay right in line at 243. It actually came down to 227. Okay, so that's 
that's the shocker there. Uh, right through here, the manufacturing PMI, it's kind of right in line. Everything else, nothing here is really shock and all. New home sales, new home sales spiked a little bit. Last reading was 709, came in at 736, so that's okay. So other than, other than the uh, initial jobless claims coming in a little bit light, and continued claims a little bit more. That's all we have in the news uh, that's rocking the market right now. But Boeing, they were they had a vote last night, and they rejected the proposal. And I, I don't know much about Boeing. If you do, I'd love your context on this because I'm from a family that every like I said, everybody works in the steel mill, and there are unions. And I was back uh, home a few weeks ago visiting my brother-in-law, and my family, and uh, I, I just it was con kind of contentious because he's a union worker, but he's like, I don't want the union telling me how to vote. Uh, so that's what that was kind of a weird situation there. Um, but Boeing, if you work at Boeing or a, a, a union. I, 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 here's what I, I'd love your feedback down below. Um, they're getting a 35% raise over four years, a $7,000 signing bonus. If you look behind this screen, I'll, okay, $5,000 a 401k deposit, and they get a, a bonus, an annual bonus of 4%. I, I don't know much about the strike. So if you do, I'd love your context down below why it was rejected. I mean, this, if somebody offered me this, I'd be like, whoa, I'm getting a, basically a eight or 9% raise every year. I'm getting a 4% bonus. Not bad. So I'd love your take on this. I don't know enough of, of, about it to comment. So let's get over to the charts that we have for today. The MBS is right when the market uh, posted the initial jobless claims. And continued claims, we popped up. We were up about, uh, I think it was about 13, and then we're all the way down now to only up four ticks. So that means mortgage rates are going to be basically just stagnant today. I thought we'd get a little bit of a reprieve, bring them down, but at least it'll be the, the bleeding has stopped temporarily for the moment. So let's get over to the CME FedWatch too. Is there any differences now that this number is out? Well, yeah, there was a pretty big difference. If you go to the CME FedWatch tool, it's telling us right now the November meeting, there's a 25% or a 95% chance uh, that the Fed's going to cut a quarter percent. So if they don't do a quarter percent, that's going to be shocking all to the market. So if they do 50, they're not going to do 50. They already learned last time not to do 50. If they don't do anything, that will be a shock to the market. So the markets are expecting a 25 basis point cut at this time. So that's all the economic news we have out for today. I will be back at the closing bell, let you guys know how all this mess ended. But on a good front, on the major indices, we have the Dow Jones. It's recovering a little bit. It's only down 98 now. Yesterday, it, was, it got hammered uh, down about uh, 500 points. S&P's up a little bit. We have the Tesla earnings that came in last night. They beat expectations, so that was fantastic. Let's see, any breaking news? Air Taxi firm Lithium plunges 60% as remains subsidiary or file for insolvency. So not sure what's going on there. Uh, the Russell 2000. VIX is coming down. Let's see what it's, it's at 19. Don't like that that high. Like it in the 15 range. See what crypto's doing for the day. Oh, Bitcoin is taking off. Not really sure why. It might be, uh, who knows? I don't want to even speculate on that. It's up 1500 bucks. Let's go to oil. Oil is right in the $71 range that we like. So it looks like the markets are basically steady today, and it beats yesterday's uh, ram sack of 500 points, and it was just a complete debacle yesterday. So that's the report for today. Who am I? What do I do? Well, if you're out there looking for assistance to buy a house, refinance a house, my name is Dan Frio. I'm actually a loan officer at ServBank. I'd love to assist you. The, the cool thing about you know where I work is no matter where in the country you live, I can help Help you. I'm licensed in all 50 states as well as Puerto Rico. Check out my website. It's therateupdate.com. If you're buying your first house, you got to check out our grant finder. We actually did a live event yesterday walking people through this. I'm going to do an individual uh, video later, probably next week, to walk you through each one of these programs because people are missing the boat on these on these programs. You're missing the boat. But if you want to get the ball rolling to see if you qualify for either refinance, buying that first home, maybe even buying another house or an investment property, we'd love to help you. So you can click the apply now button. Or what a lot of people do is they just call. Uh, that's probably the way I would do it. I would just call in at the AR800 number, which is 844-775-5626. Or you can reach me personally at dan at therateupdate.com. So thanks so much for watching. God bless. Have a fantastic and safe day. And I'll see you back here at the closing bell. Bye-bye.